Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet a warm and cozy project for autumn or winter time. It depends where you are living. You can use your favorite color and your favorite crochet hook. It is very simple and quick to make hat. For work you need 6 mm crochet hook and a ball of yarn. And let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet the head. I will begin from the foundation chain. Make a chain of 45. One. Let's crochet chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on till you will get 45 chains in the foundation chain i am done my foundation chain let's measure my foundation chain it is 35 plus or minus one centimeter and i have already done my swatch for example here how it looks the swatch is gonna be a little bit shorter it is 31 centimeters but the foundation chain is 35 centimeters but foundation chain is 35 centimeters my foundation chain is ready and i continue working on my head and right now i show you my ready project here how my head looks like when you are done. It's perfect project for beginners. You don't need special skills. You can wear it like a simple head or like a slutchy head or beanie. I crochet from the bottom to the top in this direction. Pattern consists of one stitch and pattern has one row for this hat i used colorful yarn in your case it could be one color of yarn also in this video you will see how to join two sides together in large piece of work and how to make the crown for such kind of hat using the greases and let's continue crocheting I will crochet the first row, make a chain, I skip one, insert the hook into the second chain, stitch away from the hook, make slip stitch and make slip stitch into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. It is very easy to make. It's gonna be a pattern that consists of slip stitches made in the into the back loop pattern has one row and consists of one stitch also you will see how to crochet the greases in rows the main pattern is very easy to make like this keep working this way till the end of this row Then I will show you. Then I will show you what you need to crochet next. You should leave five stitches before the end of the row. I left five stitches. Let's count them one, two, three, four, five. Make a chain. Pull a little bit. Turn the work. I left my five chains. I turn the work in one direction always. I insert the hook into the back loop. Make a slip stitch and make slip stitch into the each back loop of next stitch.
here what I have. This is my small piece. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. This is the short row and now I will show you how to complete it. Insert the hook into the last loop, make a slip stitch, then make a chain, pull a little bit, then turn the work. Work with back loops only, make slip stitches into the each back loop. So you should work in this way till the end of this row. This is the short row as well. Then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete this row together. Insert the hook into the last back loop. Make a slip stitch. It's gonna be full row or long row. I'm gonna to work with slip stitches as well as I did in the previous row. Insert the hook into, into this stitch. Here is my stitch. I work with only one loop. Then insert the hook into the next stitch or Sorry, I insert the hook into the loop, grab the yarn, pull it through. The second one, three, four, five, my row is completed. Continue, make a chain, pull a little bit, turn the work, make slip stitches in this row, work with back loops only, one, two, three, four, five, you can mark the last slip stitch because I'm going to work with the short row in the next row. So you should stop before this slip stitch. Or you can count later. Continue working with slip stitches. Make slip stitch into the each back loop. Let's complete my row. Make a slip stitch into the last back loop. Make a chain, turn the work. It's gonna be a short row. Make slip stitch into the E chain stitch. And you should leave five stitches before the end of this row. You should crochet not too strong and not loosely in the middle. And also please regulate the density of crocheting. You should work in this way till this point. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. So you should finish into this stitch. Let's complete this row together. I left these five stitches. Make a chain. Turn the work. Work on the short row. Make slip stitches into the each back loop. So I will alternate with short rows and long rows. I'm making some stitches and you should continue working with your own. So I'm going 
to work in the same way as I showed you before. Don't forget about this stitch. You should crochet as many rows as you need for your head. Let's look at the ready job. Let's look at the top part of the head. Here how my short rows look like. And let's look at the back side. This is the short rows. And I remind you I alternated with short rows and long rows. It's gonna be a crown of the head. My swatch for the head is ready. Here how it looks when you are done your swatch. This is double sided swatch so you can use any side. I will do a head with brim part. Let's measure my swatch. So it is 43 centimeters. It is very elastic swatch. So if you have a head bigger, so or more a little bit bigger than mine, so it could be okay for you. So it means the width is 45 centimeters. Also, you can use such kind of pattern to create scarf, snoot or another accessories for warm season. And please use your favorite color of yarn and your favorite crochet hook to create amazing project for yourself. And right now I show you how to join two sides together. I put their backs together. There is the long row. There is the working loop in the bottom part of my row. So next time you will see how to join. And right now I show you how to join the beginning and the end of the head. I will crochet from the bottom to the top. I would try to join two sides together in beautiful way because I would like to create beautiful project that keep your head warm in the same time. And I remind you, in such kind of cases you can use sewing needle. You can sew two sides together using the sewing needle. I did a chain, pull a little bit. I turn the work like this. I put my thread under the swatch or between two sides. So my yarn is gonna be inside. So let's join. To begin the joining, insert the hook, the second stitch. Then I put the second side, insert the hook into the first stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. One, two, and pull through. Like this. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch, then insert the hook into the stitch on the next swatch. Grab the yarn, pull it through and pull through and pull through let's repeat one more time insert the hook into the stitch then insert the hook into the stitch in the second swatch grab the yarn pull it through the first stitch pull through and pull through Let's look at my seam. I remind you I like to wear my hat with brim. And this is the back side of the swatch for me. In your case you can use both sides. 
And now I show you how to crochet the crown for this head. There is two ways. I will crochet single crochet two together, but you can use the sewing needle to sew two sides together. I don't like such kind of crown, so I will use the crochet hook. And usually I am doing two rows of single crochet stitches. So let's crochet the crown with me. I am working on the single crochet stitches. Make single crochet two together. I will use these two cables. Insert the hook into the cable. You can use the same size crochet hook or you can change it to the smaller size. I take smaller hook. I'm using six millimeters crochet hook and I put it away and take three millimeters crochet hook. Insert the hook into the loop, make a chain instead of first stitch. Insert the hook into the cable, make single crochet. Then single crochet two together, make the first one. I do not finish this stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all loops on the hook. Like this. Continue, pull up a loop, continue, pull up a loop, pull through all loops on the hook. Keep working this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round with me. I did single crochet two together. I skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. There is the small hole. I still need to do one more round of single crochet two together. Make a chain. Insert the hook into the next stitch, make single crochet. Then single crochet two together. Make the first one, make the second one. And pull through all loops on the hook. Continue. Make single crochet two together. First one, the second, and pull through. Keep working this way till the end of this row. Let's complete this round. Once I have done the last single crochet, it was just simple single crochet. I skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the single crochet, make a slip stitch, pull a little bit to secure the yarn by making a chain and pull a little bit. I leave a long piece of yarn. I have already cut off my yarn. So next time I will show you how to sew my cute hole. This is the back side of the head. I put thread through the sewing needle already. I will sew my cute small hole. So with the needle go through the stitches. With the needle go through the stitches. With 
with the needle go through the stitches. I will do in round direction. So I have already sewn my cute small hole. I pull it. So my crown is ready. So if you would like to make one more round, it's okay. I will do one more round with sewing needle. You should remove long piece of yarn along the stitches. So let's look what I have done. So that's it, my project is ready. This is the back side of the head. Here how it looks. There is no holes. I have already removed my yarn along the stitches. So it is not visible right now. I remind you, this is double sided head, so you can use any side. This is the back. And let's turn to the front side. I remind you, you can use your favorite color and your favorite crochet hook to create your amazing project for warm time of the year. And also you can create decoration for your head such flowers or leaves. How to crochet the flowers or another decoration for such kind of head could be found in the description of this video tutorial. Please visit the description and you will find a lot of useful links for yourself. I will wear it with brim part like this. Also you can wear it like a slouchy hat. Let's measure my hat. The width is 21 centimeters. It could be perfect for 42 or 44 of head circumference. It is very elastic and stretchy, so it could be perfect for bigger head. The height is almost 33 centimeters. I put my head on the mannequin and you will see how it looks on it. So that's it. Here how my head looks like in daily life. It is very simple and cozy in the same time. You can wear it with brim part or like a slouchy hat. I show you one more variation how you can wear it. See you next time and thank you so much for watching. Good luck and crocheting!